Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, and today I wanted to give you guys my first impressions of this really, really good roguelike that just came out called Crown Trick. So, to start, I just finished the campaign. I haven't unlocked everything with the game yet. There's still, like, unlockable weapons and blueprints and etc. Um, but I have finished the actual core campaign. It took me about 18 hours to go through, uh, and there's still more to do, and they are getting an end game uh, addition. By end game, I mean, like, uh, Kind of like an ascension mechanic where like when you complete the game you can like bump up the difficulty slider so it's got a voxel movement based system if anyone has played games like tales of majal uh, or tangle deep where you go like one square at a time so that makes for really fun combat i actually really enjoy that style i know a lot of people don't it's a little bit niche but let me go ahead and show you guys what the game has to offer after you have already like basically when you die and you come back to life like what you're unlocking so spoilers ahead okay so you've got four little mini skill trees i mean you're going to unlock everything and then you have a familiar system the familiar system governs all of these skills in this game so in a normal game you would you know learn magic level up etc learn skills in this game you have two familiars familiars have two skills each totaling between what is this so 5 10 15 20 familiars um, these that i have right here are just passives the first is a weapon unlock and then the second two are just passive boosts for your future playthroughs so like elemental defense uh, skill level which is the damage with your familiars um, so that's kind of cool permanent unlocks which will help a lot in the future scaling of the game then you have a merchant for your potion that also unlocks like a merchant in front of the boss. I actually want to see that as an example, so that's really good. Uh, let me go ahead and look at the smithy here. Increase our combo, so that's really good. And then item shop. Uh, can I do gold increase? No. Let's go ahead and just go into... There we go. Perfect. I just had to do that, otherwise I'd essentially lose it, so... Oops. So these are the four options you have. I think you clear the middle, and then you have the left side or the right side, and then you can go here toward the end. I didn't find the game necessarily that difficult. It was super fun to play through, but the game doesn't feel extremely challenging. I just played through a game called Ring of Pain. That game brings a lot of pain. Uh, a lot more deaths than this one. But this one's very fun. I don't know how to... It's weird. It's very satisfying, I guess you could say. Okay, so this is essentially debuffs that, I, that are going to be forced on me. So uh, this one on the left essentially is going to prevent me from being able to play a caster, but I can do an auto attack build. Um, and then the one on the right, I mean, you could still play a caster, but yeah, you guys can read it there. So I start with four weapons. There's the gauntlet here, which does bonus to the target in third. Uh, pistol I don't really want to use there's a bunch of different weapon choices there's like as an example like several different pistols several different gauntlets all having like a different uh, a different effect on them so weapon choices are really really fun in this game I'm just gonna go ahead and grab 50% chance to make him silence the farther away your target the more damage you deal okay sure let's try whisper walk over objects to break them for gold you can press V for free roam, which is really nice. Oh, yeah. And then you grab your familiar. I think it randomly drafts your choice of how the familiar works. Uh, what I mean by that is, like, <clears throat> uh, it just picks, like, random ones. But you do encounter them on the floor, so I don't know exactly how that influences it. I like the mech unit for auto attack builds, uh, since this guy gives a normal teleport. And then this is, this is kind of like a... A cool thing that unlocks in this area where you can kind of specialize to go a specific element it's kind of cool it just adds for more like depth i guess you could say i'm gonna go with concentrated blast and then this will upgrade as we go on there are some secrets in the game that you can definitely find by inspecting the walls uh, for like a breakable spot okay first room okay so i shoot four so basically one more and then All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I can use this to force reload. Yeah, that's actually really cool. So there's a break mechanic in this game. So this little number three he has right here, 
If I were to shoot him at point blank, it'll reduce two because of that arrow. If you fully reduce someone's, uh, his, their guard, then they break. So as an example here, I'm gonna blink away. Your blink is on your right click. You can regain blink by breaking people. By breaking and continually breaking, you extend your combo. Combo awards you with damage and combo awards you with more blinks. Blinks are very important in this game because um, blinking basically is is how you can avoid so much unnecessary damage. Even as melee, like some melee weapons as an example will hit diagonal. So you like say the guy is standing here, you could go here and attack and they would have to go here and hit you. So you could like hit and then blink and then hit and then blink, break their guards, stun lock them. It's really cool. Obtain soul shards equal to your current soul shards. Obtain gold equal to your current gold. Well, since I started with gold, I'll just double my gold. That's really sick. Looking like a really good run. I just don't like my weapon choice. Here we can get another familiar. Um, let's go ahead and check out... Demon Lord is, is crazy good for uh, certain builds. I've never actually used Hellish Boxer before. Let me try this guy out. Shift back one tile, resetting cooldown for all skills. Whoa. Challenge encounter. End the battle in 10 turns to receive a reward. Okay. So let me like blink here, shoot this guy. And then instead of reloading for a turn, I'm going to use my spike to charge here. Good. And then I'm going to blink behind him so I can pull this guy closer. So the nice thing about the, the rifle is it actually pierces targets. Uh, it's also cool because this is like a wind one. You can tell because in the top right of the icon where there's the square, it has the little windy symbol, which means it's actually not a physical weapon. So in, in essence, I could have scaled it with the, uh, the wind perk down below there, the one that was over here as my choice. I just realized, did I never open the chest at the beginning here? Hold on a second. I think I like Omega derped when I was explaining stuff. Yeah, dude, I don't know what's up with that. Mm. Hi, new streamer, by the way, and YouTuber. First time playing. Okay, PDEF plus 10. We'll just release that now. When attacking frozen enemies, crit damage increased by an additional 100%. Yeah, like that's nuts. So. Just based off of this relic already, I would like to go off a freeze build because that's enough to like one shot uh, in the early game. 100% crit damage is nuts. The crazy part is freezing a target also guarantees that they're crit. Okay, we got a lot of interactables here. So a nice thing that I could do, it's kind of expensive. I could blink here and then blink here. Blinking doesn't consume an act like a turn and then activate this ballista which shoots. So then I could smack this guy, and then one, two, three, four. Whenever the enemy is defeated, gain a buff. The next time you hit an enemy three tiles away with a normal attack, the enemy will be stunned. Huh. Uh, but I lose a lot of base damage. I guess because it's green, it's got higher base damage. Let's go over here. This is a cursed room. Um, you and enemies will die in one hit. Wait. Both you and all enemies will die in one hit after you open the chest? Clear three combat rooms. Okay. Three combat rooms. Let's see if this works. Well, as long as you don't get hit, then everything's okay, yeah? Ooh, I can't tell if this is good or bad, but I just got a double bot like mini boss room with this buff. I don't know what. He hmm. Technically, I could go here and then one, two, three, four. So they're both dead. Oh, okay. Yep. That's like really lucky. I have never had that happen yet. 
That's like really good too, because I pretty much consumed like no resources. I'm just gonna disable the webcam here as well, because it is blocking part. It's not really a good spot I can put it. When using a skill, there's a 20 per okay, for every, uh, uh, I'm just gonna go with Philosopher's Stone. It's a pretty fair pick. This is nice though for crit chance scaling. I've actually never seen that before. Realistically, at this moment in time, it probably would have been better to, to pick that one all the way on the right because we can silence targets and silence is considered a status effect. Uh, no secrets here. What about here? Sacrifice blood to obtain the rare chest. I don't know if that means I'll die though. Oh god, I didn't, but I took a shit ton of damage. Normal attack damage 70%. <laughs> oh no, every normal attack reduces HP by 50%. That's a really sick item, but that's really hard to use right now. This heals me. This is pretty good. Uh, that's also, that's bonus relics, I think. But healing doesn't really matter. Not relics, it's bonus uh, souls. Healing doesn't matter because I get one shot right now. This is stat buff though. Stats are good. Um, I don't know what type of build we're playing. Skill power maybe? I know this is this is good regardless of what I'm using. I'm scared. Okay, this is gotcha gamble. No, that's weapon gamble. I mean, I have three thousand gold. It's no harm in uh, in gambling, but the prob the problem with this is I'll just gamble one time. Eh, I think I need to keep the gun just because the gun allows me to stay safe right now. Um, looks like pretty much everything is cleared except for the elite room, so I don't think we'll be receiving our benefit, um, but I could take the minus HP per hit. It's really risky to take. I also could take the well done roast to heal myself, but I'd rather save my key for the next floor. Oh, I don't even have a key. Wait, where did I? Oh, I used it for the stat. Just kidding. Uh, because you get two elixirs. And the elixirs are on the F key, and they heal by a percentage. They refresh every single um, area after the boss. Oh, this is the new vendor. Nice. I don't need any of this. But it refreshes um, after every boss fight, unless you have a specific debuff on you. And we lost the debuff now, so we're not going to get one shot anymore. Okay, so oil lowers their elemental defense, and we're actually doing elemental based damage right now, so let's start by doing this. Okay, 76. Boom. I'm actually going to stealth myself, and then. One, two, three. Shit, that didn't work. Charge her. Let's see what she's doing here. All right, this would be a good time to essentially pot. So the thing is, is I, I want to be super greedy. So instead of potting, I'm going to blink here and punch her. Now I'm going to pot because it's going to give me back my, uh, my HP and my MP. Although I could probably greed for one more. Shift back one tile, resetting cooldown of all skills. Punch one target. Oh, that's right. This converts to 100 strikes when used. Nice. I don't know if I can survive a hit though, so I'll just play it safe. Go here, pot up, she moved closer, punch her in the face, blink over here, give her an auto, auto number two. Okay, there we go, she's now broken, this is perfect. When they're broken, they receive bonus damage. Um, as you can see here, break damage 20% and she's stunned for five turns from the break. I don't know if resetting cooldowns is worth it. I think it is because then I can do this and then I can do this to go close and then I can punch again and then I can reset. Oh man, Philosopher's Stone I think is doing work here. Oh, it's this one. Regain 10 MP for every normal attack that hits at least one enemy. I didn't even realize that. I forgot about that debuff at the beginning. I'm going to jump back, 
link here, force reload by using this. Then I'm going to stealth myself. 100 strikes. I don't even know if that worked for the break or not. Let's see, four, so bonus damage here. This costs 40 MP, so I could just elixir and then hit her with it. Oh, thought she was dead. There we go. Boss down. Claim the loot. Relic lock. What you got for me? Whenever dealing normal attack damage to targets three tiles or more, the next elemental hit there is... This is actually crazy. But the interesting thing is with Ring of Shattered Souls... So they both have awesome synergy because my help, my mask will reduce the damage I take, right? Or not reduce. It makes me take more damage. So if I drop below 10% and I shoot, I'm going to heal a ton of HP. And it can be triggered once per room. I think both of these are really good. I'm going to take this just to make sure we don't die. Also, even 15 times scope is really good. All these choices are nuts. Okay, so now we can go onward. I guess we could probably break this. No. To the next area. And I'll be stopping here. I'm just going to show you what happens. Because this part's pretty cool. So now you come here. You full heal. Get your elixirs back. And you get a beautiful shop. All right. For every turn under elemental status, con so we don't want that. We don't want to be debuffed. When attacking, consume 10 MP to increase normal attack by 50%. So Blade of Mana is ridiculous when synergizing with Mask of Mystic. So this, we're doing this. Okay, now when an enemy is hit with a skill, the elemental res corresponding to the attack will be reduced. That Normally this would be really good, but... We're trying to not use skills very much. I don't know how that would work with Spike. I don't think it really does. Uh, I don't really want these weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and re-roll. An Ice Weapon would actually be really cool, though. I'm thinking this Glacier would work well because it's a shotgun. Um, shotgun works well with Spike, but this says chance to apply Frozen to an enemy two or more tiles away. We want them close. So I'm going to re-roll here. When using poison, that's sick, it's half off. Every time you switch familiars, your max HP goes up, and not really any good weapons. The key is nice, though. I'll take the key since we have abundance of gold. Crit rate, whenever your HP is below. That that actually synergizes really well with mask and with the... Uh, the uh, Where does the other one we took? The ring, because if I crit when I'm below, I heal a bunch. It's 500, though. Mm, I'm gonna roll one more time. Combo glove is always OP. 50% chance on using a skill to execute it again. And then Disintegrator. If two or more enemies are hit by a single attack, there is a 40% chance that they will be paralyzed. It's got better attack. It's got less skill damage. I kind of like it. It's also only 100 gold. I'm gonna take it instead of the wind. And now I'm going to go over here, and this, so this is inherent to the weapon, kind of like how my weapon was wind, this one's lightning based. I can roll this off. So, the farther away the target, the more damage you deal. We're pretty much going to be melee. Crit is not too bad. I'm just going to reforge again, though, just to show you guys some other cool effects you can get. 30% chance to not consume ammo when shooting. Attacks never miss. Let me reforge one more time here. 50% crit damage. This is like king in my opinion if you can land a crit. Nice. All right. And then after that, you pretty much just jump down in and you go right to the next area. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed the first impressions. I personally find this game to be really, really fun. Uh, if you guys are curious, I've got a Nexus store that I'll link down below in the comments. If you want to support me, you can purchase the game there. It's basically like purchasing it through Steam. If Steam's got it on sale, it'll have it on sale as well. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Take care. Thanks for watching.